describing words. Hello, Monsieur. Hello, Froggy. Why are you looking so sad? Monsieur, I just don't feel like studying today. All right, Froggy. Then should we play a game? Oh, yeah. Let's play a game. Awesome. Okay, you have to think of a thing and do not tell me its name. Done. Now, you give me a few words to describe that thing and I will try to guess it. Uh, I don't know what describe means. You can describe something by telling what it is like. Okay, this thing is nice. Good. All right, can you give me some more words to describe it? I don't know. Well, when trying to describe something, you can always try using your five senses. Five senses? What are the five senses? Our five senses are sight, smell, hearing, touch, and taste. Using your sense of sight, you can see the thing and think of words that complete the sentence. This thing looks... It could be words that describe its shape, size, color, and so on. For example, small, big, blue, round. How about beautiful or nasty? Sure, beautiful and nasty are also words that can be used to describe how something looks. Then, using a sense of smell, we can identify words that complete the sentence. This thing smells. And examples could be nice, pleasant, sweet. Then using our sense of hearing, we can think of words that complete the sentence. This thing sounds oh, like noisy, loud, melodious, soft. Correct. Even words like quiet and silent could be used. Our next sense is the sense of touch which we can use to feel things. So think of words that could complete the sentence, my thing feels. Ah, words like soft, hard, smooth, rough, furry. Yes, and even wet, dry, hot, cold. All of these words describe how something could feel. Coming to a sense of taste, we can think of words to complete the sentence. This thing tastes. I know. Yummy. Tasty. Sweet. Sour. Delicious. Even yucky. Bitter. Spicy. Even these things tell us how something tastes. That is correct. You do know a lot of words to describe things. Okay. I will try describing my thing again using my five senses. First, using my sense of sight. My thing looks rectangular, brown, small. Using my sense of smell, my thing smells yummy, sweet, chocolatey. Using my sense of sound, my thing sounds no. Nope. I can't think of any word. That's okay. You do not have to use all five senses to describe everything. Imagine if you were describing a shoe, you would not describe its taste, right? <laughs> Using my sense of touch, my thing feels cold, hard. And using my sense of taste, my thing tastes yummy. Sweet, chocolatey, delicious, creamy. You have described this thing as yummy, hard, rectangular, delicious, cold, sweet, good, chocolatey, creamy, brown. Oh, uh, Miss R, can I also add nice? Sure. You don't have to limit yourself to the five senses. You can add more describing words as well. Now, let me guess. I think that your thing is a chocolate ice cream bar. Yes, that is right. And Froggy, 
all the words you can use to describe a thing are called describing words or adjectives. Ah, you tricked me, Miss R. But I don't mind learning through a game. It is fun. It sure is. And Miss R, I think that we can describe not just things, but also people. Yes, and animals and places as well. So, describing words are words that can be used to describe persons, animals, places and things. And these words answer the questions, How is the person? Or how is the place? Or how is this animal? Or how is the thing? Now, Froggy, why don't you think of some words that describe you? Sure! I look green, small, smart. I smell... I leave out smell. I sound happy. I feel soft. I taste... Nope, not using that sense. I can think of some more words to describe myself. Like intelligent, kind, friendly, naughty. Awesome! Now, how about describing a person? Say, Elsa. Hmm, looks tall, thin, beautiful. Smells, I don't know, let's leave that. Sounds sweet when she sings the songs. Feels, I think, I see. Taste, now we can leave that. And I would like to add magical and serious. Very nicely described indeed. Now, let's choose a place. Uh, a park? I think that a park looks happy. Big, green, smells, I don't know. Sounds noisy because there are a lot of children playing there. Feels fresh. Taste? Nah, I have never tasted a park. Neither should you. Uh, I will add. Crowded and fun. Superb, Froggy. You have understood describing words very well. Yes, Miss R. I now know that describing words or adjectives are words that can be used to describe persons, animals, places and things. Thank you for being such an awesome teacher. Please like, share and subscribe.